Hi, I'm James Muir, and this is a screencast for Make More Noise. Uh, Happy New Year, I think is the first thing to be said at this point. Uh, this is the first screencast of 2011, and we're back to one of our favourite topics, which is automation. And again, we're responding to a question that's come in on our YouTube channel. So if you're unfamiliar with the topic of automation and logic, I'd have a quick look at my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash James Andrew Muir, which is spelled M-U-I-R. And you'll see we've got a video on automation preferences, copying automation to a new track, copying and moving automation, automating delays, which is a real world example of other things we've talked about in the past. You know, it's one of those tangible effects you hear lots on records more on automation and automation basics. If you go through all of those, you should be pretty up to speed on automation. So let's go back to copy and move automation. And we've got a uh, comment here from Bink Halid Sonic. I guess that's pronounced. I could be entirely wrong. And he or she says, how can I copy automation from one parameter to another? I.e. say I want to copy the AUX send automation from track one and replicate it to the test oscillator frequency control automation. Well, I'm not going to show you exactly that one, but I will show you how to copy and convert automation. So if you spent ages drawing a really lovely curve and you want to apply it to a different parameter, this is how you would go about doing it. Let me cut away. I'll get Logic set up and we'll get going. OK, so we've got Logic fired up. I've pulled in a two bar synth loop and I've written some pan automation. Just a very, very quick recap. As I said before, probably best to go back and watch the videos. But you access the automation by using the key command A or by clicking on this button up here in the header. Either of those will get you into automation. When you've got no plugins inserted on the track, you get fairly basic automation parameters, which are volume, pan, solo, and mute. We've actually got an auto filter plugin inserted as well, which gives us the next option of insert one bypass to bypass the plugin, and then we can select any of the parameters from auto filter to automate as well. Too many autos in that sentence. So. In our imaginary scenario, what we want to do is we want to take this lovely neat pan automation that I spent ages or at least 10 seconds drawing and convert that into being another type of automation. And that really is as simple as just holding down the alt key, alt key, uh, depending on whether you're English or American, selecting the parameter you want to copy the automation across to. So in our case, we're going to go auto filter and then cut off. And I haven't let go of the alt key at this point. Now I click off. And I get a new dialog box that says, do you want to convert or copy the automation data? So you've got two choices. Convert will take the automation data you've already written and make it into a different parameter. Or copy and convert will leave the automation you've already written. In our case, that's the pan. And add a new automation track, which in again, in our case, will be the cutoff. So we'll go copy and convert. So now, as you can see, using this disclosure triangle here at the bottom left-hand corner of the track header, We've got two types of automation. We've got pan, which is as it was before, and then we've got our copied and converted cutoff automation, which now sounds like this. OK, so let's just go back a step. Um, we'll Apple Z or Apple Z to undo. So now we've literally just gone back to our starting point, which was the pan automation. So again, to copy or convert, you select the automation data you want to copy, which in our case is pan, bring it to the front. So it's highlight, highlight, highlighted. So it's highlighted um, and you can see it nice and clearly at the front. And then you hold down the alt key into the automation drop down menu, select auto filter, cut off, click off. And I've still got my finger on the alt key at that point. And this time, instead of copying and converting, I'm just going to convert, which means that our pan automation will disappear, but we'll have the drawing we've done for the pan automation copied across, converted across to the new parameter, which was cut off. There you go. So in this case, if we do the disclosure triangle trick again, you can see we've just got two copies of the same thing, which is cut off. So on its own, it would sound like this. What I really should have done is just reset the pan, which uh, I just did by alt-clicking, which takes it back to its zero value. And it really is as simple as that. That is how you copy or convert or copy and convert 
one type of automation data or one parameter of automation data across to another. Hope you found that useful. I've been James Muir, and this has been a screencast for Make More Noise. Thanks for watching.